Hello there boys and girls, welcome to Scottish Geeks, it's review time for Doctor Who again now please do be warned there will be spoilers in this because I've just watched it and I'm excited about talking about it. Okay so last week we saw Clara and Missy getting exterminated. Now as you all probably know the main characters of Doctor Who don't generally die. Missy is also the master so the master never dies, he always finds a way out or she does in any case. So anyway you kind of figured out that the fact there was no bodies when the Daleks exterminated them, there's always a body, you know, they don't completely disintegrate them, usually. Uh, meant that at the beginning of the episode where you see Clara and Missy, you didn't really get as much of a shock as probably was intended. Now moving on slightly, we had, of course, Davros being very, very weak, pathetic and just generally not Davros-like at all. I spent the entire episode up to a point sitting there thinking to myself, really? They're going this route with Davros? This isn't Davros. This, I mean, yeah, he's dying, but he's dying breath. The first thing he would try and do would be to kill the Doctor or survive in some way, shape or form. But anyway, moving on to the next part of it. Sorry, I kind of get jumbled up when I'm talking about these things. We had Missy and Clara obviously surviving and going down into what they call the sewers or graveyard. Because apparently Daleks don't die. Now, that's going to be hellish, because every single wall of these sewers was covered in Dalek detritus. It was living, breathing Dalek tissue. I'm going to get back on that part in a minute, but then of course we had the Doctor who got very, 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 very pissed off at Davros and the rest of the Daleks for the fact that Missy and Clara were dead, well mostly Clara. and. Uh, did something very undoctor like and pulled Davros out of his chair and took over it himself, leaving Davros laying in the ground, writhing and wiggling about with all these little metal chewy things and whatever. Uh, moving back to Clara and Missy, where Missy hears the doctor saying, Bring Clara to me alive, blah blah blah. Uh, that's the doctor without hope who would burn an entire planet, which we've seen already the, the doctor did, was going to do that to his own home. But yeah, so they tried to Dalek, Clara goes into the Dalek, starts talking. This was weird. Um, it was very interesting actually. Like, when Clara tried to say her own name, she said, I am a Dalek instead. And when she tried to introduce herself as anything other than a Dalek, she just kept repeating, I am a Dalek. And whenever she tried to convey any emotion, it came out as exterminate. Bizarrely enough, you would think to yourself, why would that be a function in a Dalek that didn't want to say any of the usual stuff anyway? Unless it's just, of course, if a Dalek says, I hate you, and it comes out as exterminate, but apparently that's how Daleks reload their guns, whatever. But it was a very interesting way of seeing it, because what if there was a Dalek who did not actually want to be a killer, who had no choice because of the programming of the tank they were in? You see? See where I'm going with that? But anyway, moving on again. So, um... Basically, Davros starts going all weepy, blah blah blah, talking to the doctor about his past and asking why he ran from Gallifrey, and finding out that if Gallifrey was back, he started weeping, which was weird. And then this bit I don't get, right? Let me look at you with my own eyes. We had a total Darth Vader moment there. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I think that the Moffat goes a little bit too far into the geek culture kind of thing, and he should stick to Doctor Who being Doctor Who. I'm not saying I didn't like the episode, I'm saying that there was certain parts of it didn't quite gel with me. One part I did really enjoy was Davros talking to the Doctor and saying, I have found you something, um, something so rare on this planet, there is only one other in existence, and the Doctor's sitting in a chair. I actually laughed out loud at that moment. But moving on again, so yes, so basically Davros' whole plan after saying, open my eyes, let me see the sunshine, was to get the Doctor to share his regeneration enemy, therefore creating a hybrid Dalek Time Lord. We don't really get to see it because apparently the Doctor sent his regeneration energy not only through to the Daleks, but through to the other Daleks in the sewer. Everything got a jolt of energy and Basically, all hell broke loose. A big steaming pile of Dalek shite came up out of the sewer and started destroying the city. And the Doctor goes away. But they then find Clara in the Dalek suit, who obviously can't identify herself. Missy then tells the Doctor to kill the Dalek, etc, etc. Dalek says mercy. He says Daleks never say mercy. That's a lie, because when Matt Smith was the Doctor, one of the Daleks asked for mercy from River Song. 
So anyway, the Doctor has to then go back in time and save Davros and teach him the concept of mercy. Woo! End of end of episode. But yeah, anyway, so this was a bit of an iffy episode in my my in my mind. It's just it was good. It wasn't great. It wasn't as good as last week's episode. There was a lot of shocks and surprises in last week's episode. This week kind of fizzled out. These two parters often do. They could have condensed this into one episode, I would say, or maybe dragged it over, over a few episodes, who knows. But the two episode arc it didn't work for me but that's not to say I'm not going to watch next week's show because I do love Doctor Who and one episode of so many thousand is not going to stop me from watching a show that I love anyway what do you guys think of the episode I do apologise for my random ramblings etc etc but time is not a linear thing for a Time Lord apparently which I'm not anyway please leave comments below of what you thought of the episode and I'll catch you next time but until then bye bye